Hello, I'm Olaf One. And I'm G Man. And welcome to the club's 2022 season championship tournament. This is uh, the first match between myself and G Man in the first ever competitive season of Cuddle. And if you've been following along, you'll know that I'm coming from the losers bracket, which means that if I win this match, we have to play another. And if G Man wins, and he's the champion. Shall we dive in? I think so. All right. So, G Man goes first, draws. Neither hand, super strong on the start. Both some threes, a lot of aces to get rid of points. No royals. But I'll take the board. Left coming out with the early points. Okay, so the queen slows my roll because if I, I play offensively, I could play right into a two for one if he's sitting on the ace, which he does happen to have. Left looking to try and get more cards than the eight. Doesn't like but I'm tempted it by the, the low check. I'm thinking about it. Oh, and I play right into the ace behind the queen. That hurts. Can't Rough start. Two to counter because the queen that's on the board. So turn it nine. around. I don't know that this is such a great play, but he can't scuttle it, but he can use one of his aces to remove it from the board. But I don't know that you don't have a two. And if, if you're sitting on a two, which now you have, the, uh, the queen two is an uncounterable counter. And those three Makes jacks sitting on yeah, that that is unfortunate. I mean, jacks are so strong, but being blocked by the queen is rough. If I can get rid of your queen, though, then suddenly I have a really strong defense. Definitely makes the right play choosing the 10. The 5 one off would only give him the 10 in his hand rather than being able to play it. So definitely worth just playing it right away. It's still a bit of an awkward spot offensively because while he's sitting on that queen... And I, I don't have uh, any other royals that I can play right now. My offensive plays are somewhat limited to. Uh... Ooh, so that that's a spicy pick. Normally, when you pull the seven, you wind up going for the the two. I'm gonna pause for a second. Um, so if you pull a, a two from a seven, it's usually tempting to play the two to deprive your opponent the chance to draw that card, uh, but. Here, G-Man caught me with eight cards in hand, so he knows that I can't just draw the two, which is a good opportunity for him to um, to play something else offensively to get some other value out of that awkward situation. All right, so now I'm I'm trying to the press my offense. Use the three earlier to grab the ace again as soon as I saw the ten of hearts because I didn't have any way to scuttle that, so. If I saw the ten of spades come out, I knew that I was going to need the ace to get rid of it. And the so ace it's two for two trade. Yeah. I'll pick that two up off the top of the deck. And I walk away like relatively happy with that exchange. Has two twos in hand. What are you taking from the three? Ace of clubs. Okay, so sitting behind that queen with an ace really stymies my offense, especially, I mean, I don't have enough to muster uh, an actual win right now, and those three jacks in my hand are just dead this whole time. So I'm looking to get rid of that queen because it is so in my way right now. Now he's got a lot of options to do it, though. With six to get rid of it as he has no yep, royals and yep. a few twos as well. Definitely worthwhile at this point to just get rid of it. Love another card. <laughs> Still wants for, more though. Yeah, so greedy. Yeah. It is greedy. It is greedy. I'm like pondering. I want that queen dead. If I click it enough, maybe it'll just go away. Okay. Playing the queen, trying to get rid of that six. You've got a two. Are you gonna use it for the counter? I would imagine I do. I do yeah. use it to counter. I love okay. it and not counter it. Play the four. Because the queen's still on the board. Keeping two jacks in hand, 
Oh. Yep. Yeah, I'm. Oh, oh that third <laughs> two. Okay, so the I have the only twos left in the deck. That, that is a powerful thing and puts me in really good shape. I, the only thing I'm lacking in right now is offense. I don't have high points. This, this is the time to get rid of your queen so I can start leveraging those jacks. It was a bit greedy to to keep two jacks while you had the queen out, but with twos to spend and a and queen these, to protect it too. Even yeah. if I had jacks and stuff, it's still not going to be super useful. And now your offense is playing into my jacks. You can scuttle your way out of this. If countering would be greedy because I'm sitting on those twos. So nice. And now I can I continue to press an offense. Still trying to hope that possibly I can get my 10 back with my 6 rather than scuttling it with my own 10. Mm -hmm. It always hurts mm -hmm. to do. Yeah. Okay, now everybody take a breath. Okay. But... But can you stop me? I'm like fearing the ace. If I play more points, I could get hit by the ace. But if I go for it, if I just play the ten of spades right now, I win. I don't know that I'd win. Makes the so smart play conservatively. The queen. He knows that there's no more twos out there as well. So now, if I do have the ace, he can counter my ace as well. Oh, but instead plays the queen, even more defensive. Yeah, I was and then says, fearful you know what? of the fourth no. jack. Go yeah, I got you it. I got it. Yeah, that's GG. Your only option... Well, if you had the Actually, ten of diamonds or hearts, you could scuttle your way out. But I've got the uncounterable counter. And that's GG. Game one. Well played. Okay, so I'm 1-0 going into game two. And dealt a queen with two twos off the bat. Strong hand, but I'm given just the tens the beef sticks yeah and he, who needs has, fancy tricks no ace to get rid of them no ten of spades to scuttle oh i am digging <laughs> was that a triple seven it was a triple seven legit that's like some highlight reel stuff okay and the glasses and love, just to watch just, my just watch demise what's about to happen here yeah do i have the confidence just, right nope. you, okay not there because like you'd be playing into an ace hardcore i don't have it though like you would have had me i want to at least grab the two yeah if you can get but... it all right, right now i'm setting up so an ace is even scarier try and just get rid of everything on the board yeah i'm gonna counter it i got the two to spare the three to pick it back up if i need it but i don't even need it right now I would love an ace. That's what I'm digging for. I don't actually hate being hit by the four at the moment because my hand isn't actually great. You I mean, have I got a the three two. and a four to discard. Yeah. It's early game. It's fine. But you know, you got to replace your three. Very important. Right, yeah. Playing the queen, so now jack's not as scary at the moment. Yep, nobody, nobody can jack. My two also is like somewhat dead in my hand. Because I don't even have a jack that I would really want to play by destroying your queen with it. So none and of my options here are great. I, I don't want to play points. You destroy your eight and get yeah. stop getting to look at my hand. So as a note for people watching right now, Aleph can see my hand as well. <laughs> so in game right. and right now, he can see what I have as well and try and plan around it. That's the glasses eight there. But it's interesting because I, I don't want to play offensively. Like points are a liability because then you can just play points and you put me in check and my offensive play was sort of a waste of my turn. Um, and as you said, like my six will blow my own stuff up and only get your queen. I'd, I'd be giving you three cards for one, essentially. So that's rough. The king is somewhat tempting because I'm already uh, I'm uh, sort of all in on the face guards. Best defense is a good offense. I can draw here on the next turn. You see that I don't really have that two to prevent it, as I've been playing kind of defensively. Yeah, this so whole I, time. I do go for points. Okay, and you do draw. You're right. I was scared you were going to press an offense in that moment, but now I have the opportunity to put you in check. So how are you going to deal? I'd love for you to ace, obviously, trade your ten for my six, but presumably Probably you'll eight. scuttle your way out. Use the eight to scuttle. Keep the yep. in the hand. Yep. But now the momentum's mine, so I can press an offense, keep this run going, force you to scuttle with your tens, 
or else ace your own 10. So that's this is a good trade for me. Oh, this hurts to see in hindsight. Yeah. <laughs> Had I just played three tens off the bat. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> just like big points. What more but do you need? Scuttle, okay. Scuttle, so scuttle. that that was oh. a big trade. Kept yourself in there. Oh, that jack is no good in my hand. So left doesn't know, but had he played the six, forced the respect, having to pl oh, play yeah. the ace and delete my right. ten. That would have been, oh, yeah, that would have been legit, yeah, yeah. But use the five and grab two kings. I'm feeling pretty good now because I got a four in hand. As long as one right. king goes down, right. I can get out. So I, I think I'm going to be put in a situation where I have to play that six. Like, I, I see it coming. I don't want to do it. Do oh, I three for another answer? Like, I, I could three for an ace. Now I draw, hoping to get out of this. and like, nope, and gotta do I'm it. In the Ouch. Seat. Yeah. Goes for the one-off, but... Oh, still has the queen, so I still can't yep. counter it, even though it's deleting everything. But yep. <laughs> another king. And this jack is just stalling because you steal it right back and either way i, I don't think i had another jack, yeah didn't have an option matter. i got countered the counter the counter gg well played that's game two or one and one all right game three I like the king queen two start in my hand. You got the king ten two, which is always nice. Yeah. Oh, I see your ten, but I got the bigger one. Yep, ten of spades. Good stuff. And this but that's check. So what's your answer? Strategy. The low check. Big fan. I want oh. you to spend something bigger. <laughs> I get greedy. Hubris. See what I can oh, get. <laughs> and, and you just punt. Okay, folks, this <laughs> is hubris in action. We we need to witness this play because oh my gosh, it is uh, it's poetry. All right, hold on. I get scuttle. Yeah. Could so bend. in this in this moment, no, here, that seven could have been spent to scuttle the four, but instead. It was uh, a trick that could have worked out better, potentially, but no Just options here. The queen is completely is... dead. What are the odds I don't get a point card higher than a four? Yeah. 50-50, probably. <laughs> the cards <laughs> in the deck don't help, but not my best okay. play. Yeah, there we go. Two and one, going into game three. Right off the bat with the king. Coming in hot. Quick what do you check. got? Okay, scuttling. Ooh. And this oh. hurts. I played into the six. I, I went for it. If he didn't have a six specifically, it was going to be a very favorable trade for me because the other answer is a two, which would have been a one for one trade. And I'd gladly trade a king for one of his twos. And otherwise, I could have just won. But he did have the six. It was the perfect answer. Completely disrupted my board, slowed me way down. But now we're drawing to an almost full hand. So it didn't penalize me too bad. But starting the game with that two for one was rough. If G Man had had the points to press an offense, I'd have, I'd have been in trouble. This was an interesting decision on my part, seeing that I knew he grabbed the six and I didn't have yeah. two in hand. Yeah, playing kind the of king was played not into the, the best decision. Yep. Yeah. But it cost me two turns to do that. And here again, we see the eight cards with the two yeah. on top of the deck. Steal That's and twice you caught points. me with that. Good stuff. You know, I I haven't seen this, but something in that situation that could be a spicy play in my shoes, if I had it, would be to nine your card back to your hand so you can't draw the two. <laughs> could I be mean, a spicy play. It could be. But I then also have the 10 in hand. I guess I can't mm -hmm. take the 2, but... Exactly. Is it worth a turn? To Is it worth a 9? Point? 9 points? Yeah. That's yeah. a bigger question. Right, right. Alright, 7 for 10. Solid trade. It's a really cool thing. Right. Oh no, I go for the queen instead. 
some defense. I did pick up the two, yeah. so a queen two is a very strong position to be in. Yeah, yeah. The uncounterable counter. <laughs> Drawing what stuff. Five. Graph another one. Let's check. So a nice thing about a seven for points here is that if the you have a seven a second jack and you steal it that puts you at 11 which means you'd need 10 points to win and we've already seen tens this game oh, i thought i thought i might have gone for it but no Ooh, maybe this I get time another queen and another two even yeah, if that was a good five played, i'm feeling good whatever points yeah. he plays i'm stealing but a left but if he if, if i presses right now, yeah, and I, he can see so now pressing is a great is the, option. Yeah, if in this moment I had played the seven for points, you could have stolen, but not one. And a further push at that point would have put you on the back foot. Correct. Interesting. But I, I go for the glasses. Now I see what you've got. I don't want to play into your jack, except I again the seven still uh, I can doesn't put you in a position points. where you can win. Yeah, so it's tempting. So now I see what I got. Should have played for points here. Just put something more on the board, especially with the two twos. Like I can delete aces. He's already played them. But you you couldn't have pushed to win. I couldn't push to win, but I could at least get points on the board. On the board. Hmm. So, yeah. Controversial choice here. Discarding a two. Rarely done from a four, because you can counter effects, which is so incredibly powerful. But the two doesn't do me a whole lot of good in my current situation, because it's blocked by his queen, and I don't have a way to get rid of it. He sees that I have twos to keep my queen on the board, another queen if I decide to let it happen. What's interesting is you decide to draw here too. You can see the win. Oh, play the defense. But still knowing I have so, the two. Have to use one of them though. So now I can only counter one more. Does the play click yet that you can just push for the win? Play the seven. Yeah, I just play, play the, the seven. seven. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because so often. You see it, yeah. You see, right, right. It's like there have been a few times up until this point where we're like, oh my gosh, if we only knew to do that, like it would change the game, but we don't see what's in their hand. Like here, I can see. I should. <laughs> No. This, this game should have been over about four turns uh, ago. Oh my god. <laughs> Draws again. It hurts to watch. It's so tempting to draw because increasing the total number of cards that you have is always powerful. Come on. I'm just giving All you right. more turns to draw an answer. Don't like And I think I get it. Play the king, please. Please. <laughs> Put in check. Yeah. Oh, I can't. I have to answer this. But oh he doesn't. God. he doesn't respect it, but it's great. Because I don't have it yet. Yeah. Now he, he does. Know. Now so, I got everything. But he just I have drew. two jacks. I have the ten of spades. I have and every it, answer to everything at this point now. So I, I called his bluff last turn that he didn't have it. But this time I scuttled just in time when he did. But now G-Man's got the offensive momentum. He goes for a run. Puts me in check. I'm scuttling a six with a now, nine. That's this always is another a, point a sign. That I have the ten of spades. This card cannot be scuttled, and I have a two to protect my ace. I finally realize it and play the ten. Yeah. He can't scuttle yeah. it now. Has to go for the ace. I have to go for the ace, and I, I there's nothing I can do. You got me, GG. And this is the checkmate. The king, queen, ten of spades. Yep, with a two in hand. Yep. Critically. GG. Oof. We're two and two. So going in to game five. And I choose to go with the opening, opening. rude strategy of seeing two fours inside. I don't like my yep. hand. You don't get your hand either. The Toph. <laughs> oh, yes. The game where Toph, I think, played and grabbed threes again and again. But mm. a ten with multiple twos. Okay. I Yeah. 
I'm off to a strong start here. Both of us just kind of building up a hand. So I've got the makings of a solid offense. I would love a six in this Yeah, moment. I was going to say, this is a risky play for me. Like, if a six is played, that's scary. But I can see you can't counter this ace. Uh, so there's a two for one. Three for two, I think. Because you had to yeah, your own nine, yeah. It's, well, you jacked it, right? Yeah. So our, there's some lost opportunity cost there. But if we're just counting cards True. on the field. Yep. Searching for what so I, I want. see that you you don't have a counter, which means that that too may have been no. I, okay, never mind. I, I'm setting up. I want you to play the ace so I can counter it. But now I see you've drawn the two. So one thing to so know need here another too answer. that I always look at when playing is I think I am a card in a turn up. I have a full hand. The left has cards mm -hmm. on the board. But I kind of have more opportunity. Like, if I had the points to press for an offense, eventually I have more cards than he does. Which mm -hmm. means, regardless of what he has, I could go for one. But I'd like to destroy the eight instead on the board. And still don't like my hand completely and kind of want to delay longer. Forcing him to discard, so hopefully we both keep drawing keep the a little three. bit longer interesting because i i want another answer okay so this is a bit of a spicy oh this hurts check. i remember this yeah this one hurts so bad yeah. i scuttled the nine yeah but yeah. then he has the ten. Ten. yep oh, oh but I he did. doesn't go for it but i have the two yeah, twos oh, now he's got and the two twos it. and i get greedy that's thinking i have the two i can counter yep. it but he's yeah. got the counter to the counter. And that is good game. So I have won the first championship match. And that means that we go on to play a second. So we will see you next time for the club's 2022 finale. Thanks for joining. We'll catch you then.